Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft. I'm your host, Anon Jr., and uh, we're, we're, we're still over at my mountain base. Um, <clears throat> today, I really want to get progress, if not finished, this area here. Uh, although, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it just because I'm re- Hello, Beach Duck. I'm reasonably certain that I'm going to have to do a lot more excavating uh, of the area, but uh, storage has been set up, and I just need to I need to figure out where that input ho set of hoppers is going to run, and then where I'm putting the farms. Uh, if you remember from last time, I had the I was working on the storage system. I added a few more barrels. A couple of them I did. Uh, you know, I did finally remember some of the stuff I was forgetting, like uh, this guy up here is going to have my buckets of fish and axolotls. Uh, I'll have to find a better better thing than an empty bucket to put in there. And that's going to have buckets of milk, and I need uh, lava and water. Uh, oh. and, and so, we'll, you know, we'll see how that goes. I think what I'm going to do, though, for... The main storage area is like I got. Oh, the orange wool didn't make it to the uh, orange wool because <laughs> that that box was empty. So I, I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to start taking some of these empty boxes and just uh, you know fill filling them in with uh, with placeholders and whatnot. Uh, although that one i'm not sure what's going to go in there those two i'm not sure how i want to do it and same for that last one there i know i'm going to need at least one probably two redstone so that'll probably be those two and i don't i don't, I don't know maybe maybe uh an iron since i got the copper and then gold and other valuables i don't know uh, i'll figure that out um and then that, that'll be basically done. Although I do still need to look up how to do a, use a puffer fish as a player detector and figure out a little one by two door to hide a uh, maintenance entrance and maybe knock those back a couple of blocks so I can get around this monstrosity of redstone and hoppers and, and stuff that uh, I worked on last time. Although, I will say this much: it has been working out pretty well so far. I've run a couple more, a couple more bits and bobs through there. I think I've actually got a shulker box in that system there that I haven't run through yet. But you know, with, with those couple of boxes not not finished, I didn't want to I didn't want to run them through just yet. But I, I think my plan is to to do that. Uh, and then, and then see how this shakes out. And I might end up rearranging a bunch of stuff. Like, I've got this box for nothing but, you know, the red sandstone stuff. But how much of that am I going to actually get? I don't know. I, I might take this and just, you know, leave, you know, a space for smooth, red smooth sandstone slabs. A space for cut slab. Uh, red sandstone. I don't. I don't plan on getting that much red sandstone. I don't know why I put a whole box for that. Uh, I don't know. Remember, th th this is just to be a place for. I'm working on a project. Like, with with the excavation, we're getting ready to do. Um, I'm tearing up a bunch of stuff. I need some place to empty my pockets and put things. That's what this is. Or you know, I got a project. I want to build something. So. Let, let me have a couple of things handy. Like, so that's why I have like the honey stuff and, <laughs> and the slime blocks in in the same box there because they're all sticky stuff and I don't I don't need a full double chest of either because this this is just private stock. This is not everything everything. Um, and some of this I'll probably rearrange a few things like I. I don't know why I don't just take all those bricks over to over to main storage, except for maybe these guys here. Cause I don't I don't build with this. Why do I have it? Because I'll probably build with it now that I said that I don't build with it. Uh, uh, something's going to come up now, inevitably, because I said that that will necessitate the, the building of. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, also, I moved the sign to get the crafting table there, and so I got to get the credit to uh, Nembom back for uh, for the storage system. All right, so let me grab my portable workshop. Let me grab. I don't need the shulker box full of heads. I don't shouldn't need the die kits. Uh, oh. I'm probably going to need the ice box maybe at one point. Um, I'm definitely going to need my redstone. I'll keep my lighting. Um, I'll hold off on those for the moment. I don't have any projects set up. I'll need rails, but I'll just run down to the basement for those instead of depleting my box. Sure. Well, well, well yeah. That... That'll be a start. Oh yeah, I still got all these all these things to to empty out and find a home for too, like the gold and the workstations and that kind of thing. So I don't know. I'll, I'll figure all that out out uh, at some point. But all those boxes got consolidated down into that one asterisk and a shulker. Uh, <laughs> uh, it'll get there. It'll get there. Oh, yeah. I do need to find a home for scaffolding, too. Hmm. I don't know. I'll get to that eventually. All right. Uh, so, yeah. that That's almost done. Things are definitely going to have to be, re, you know, reshuffled and whatnot. I, I think I really will move all the red sandstone up into that sandstone box. Because, again, I shouldn't have that much of any of that. Which means I probably will know that I said that. Because that's how it goes. Alright. <clears throat> I need to figure out a interior wall material for this side. Um, I need to figure out... My life. Uh, no. Uh, well, that too, but... Actually, let me go grab that project box because that has a bunch of redstone stuff in it, and I, I'm almost certainly good. Might as well dip into that while I'm, while I'm thinking about it. Uh, so I'll hang on. I'll grab that. So that is kind of the twin to this, where this one I have some crops and farms. That one's going to have some other crops and farms, and I think, much like the potion brewer on that side, there might not be a full-on second floor to this. Maybe. So, in other words, th there'll be some stairs or something that goes up to that balcony, to that side there, and that'll just be another entrance into this side. So, uh, you may need to find a way to decorate all the way up instead of halfway up. Because uh, storage is definitely eating up a lot of space. So I probably could have slimmed down storage one, one slice too. Nah, who am I getting? It's only four double chests of each. Eight double chests if, since they're two by two. All right. <laughs> Maybe I did go overboard. No, I didn't. Somebody's going to clip that. Maybe I did go overboard, aren't they? All right. Um, I need. I need a bucket and um, water, and to figure out what I'm going to do. Oh, I don't have a. I don't have a water supply in here. Who does that? All right, I'll go borrow, borrow from. <laughs> Excuse me, I would like to borrow a bucket of water. Oh, yeah, and I keep. Uh, ever since I started adding villagers, uh, zombies have been going out of the dark parts of the caves underneath here, and wandering into the light parts because they're attracted to the villagers. Um. Matter of fact, I think I saw one other cave that wasn't uh, that wasn't lit. Let me let's just uh, torches, torches. I need to make some more torches too. I gotta get stocked up on those. 
I seem to be uh, burning the torch. How do you do? Some would even argue burning the torch at both ends. All right, nappity nap because I'm too lazy to run all the way to the bedroom. Hello. Hello. Let's see if I can. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I keep looking for these guys to animate, and they don't. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to set them up to animate while they're on an armor stand. Do I have to like power the armor stand or something? I want to say it was around this corner when I was flying in. I saw a cave that uh, that was not lit up. Nope, that one I lit. Was I coming in from this side then? Oop. Maybe I should grab one of those slow fall potions. Because I know... Oh, there it is. I know I'd seen one somewhere, and I think... Uh, I'm actually wondering if this is where some of the zombies are crawling into the cave system from. So, like, I... Yeah. Ooh, iron. <coughs> oh. Oh, maybe I should have come better armed? Hello, friends. I was expecting this to be relatively quick. Just come in here, drop a couple of torches. Life's good. Oh! Oh, hi! You, uh... You... You are the... Are you the last of your kind? Please? Alright, uh... I got something going on down there. Hmm, glow lichen. I'll have that farmed up before too long, too. And I got something down here. The skelly bones and a uh, spider. Duel the snipers. Oh, come on! How many of you are there down here? Never mind, don't answer that. Alright, uh. I probably should grab that coal while I'm on my way back. Don't let me forget. This is so not working on the farm. Oh. Aw. and cliffs um I, I i think is that gonna be the new uh cry of frustration on the server oh, oh caves and cliffs <laughs> all right let's uh nab these while i'm here uh, i'll leave that to remind me to go back down there later Because surely I'll remember. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Well, that'll help solve my torch problem. This is neither redstone nor farms. Uh, I'm getting there. All 
I just wanted to do one other dive down here. I mean, nothing should be spawning in the waterfall, but... How many times have we seen a... Oh yeah, nothing should be happening there. Uh, and... Sp Why is there a cobble? Is that a spawner? Do I have my very own spawner? Hi, friend. Oh. Uh, please tell me your burning corpse will light this up. Ow! I have a skelly spawner right here at my base. Sure, I'll take it all. Come on. Actually, why didn't I just do this? That that would have been. Never mind. Okay. Um. that actually came through because uh, the last couple of times I've taken screenshots with the in-game screenshot uh, I end up with a black picture when streaming so but not always uh, I'll have to uh, I'll have to remember that's there I wonder what's above this I uh oh hi friend oh what are you doing down yeah No, it's undermine. How did you even get? S Never mind. I don't want to know. I did not bring enough torches. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. I'll uh, I'll need to I'll need to find what. This is what, uh, oh, they are coming up there, aren't they? Yeah. I wonder if this is where all the, oh, no, put it down, put it down. I wonder if that's where all the, all the zombies that are making their way up to my, uh, underneath the villager breeder and all that are. All right. Well, that's good to know. All right. Uh, yeah. Oh. I don't feel like fighting with that just yet. All right. So that's good to know that that is there. And yes, it is clearly on my part of the mountain. Let's get to the uh, let's get to the actual business of today. Uh, oh, dude! Should have a place for rotten flesh in there, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's. Uh, nah, come on. Oh, that's why I only put three there because only three on hand. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> All right, let me empty my pockets. I'll let that run later. Uh, yep. No, wait, why am I even... Uh, that's right. That's where my enchanted books are going to go. Because non-stackables. All right. Oh. One last thing. I know I don't need to jump to do that, but for some reason I always feel a very compelling need to jump. Don't don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. Uh gonna need some dirt. And my backpack. 
Because I love to go wandering. My knapsack on my back. Actually, because I need the Hoe of Fortune. Or either one. Um, I, I do need to collect a, a little more netherite. Miliang, if we could make a netherite trident, that would be that would be awesome. I mean, wouldn't that be awesome? To have a netherite trident? How would... Oh. W would you do a netherite handle with the same white pointy tips? Or would you do the same green shaft with netherite tips? Or would you do use the two tones like on the axe and the sword? Where where like the 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 shaft is that darker color and, and the the tips are that lighter color. The things you think about. Okay. So I need more building blocks than I grabbed. Uh, <laughs> and I need rails and to figure out what else I need. Oh, I thought I had more brick in there. All right. Um, look, more brick. Blocks, rails, <laughs> look, rails, I'm going to have to run the power drill one again for a little while. Oh, I'm going to need my wool box, because we're doing redstone, can't do redstone without wool. You gotta keep the redstone warm. Well, all right, we're 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 twenty minutes in. I've gone ADD caving and started work on a wall shulker. Okay, no farms were actually created during the production of this diversion. All right. I had a bunch of hoppers in here. No? Oh, that's right. That's all I have left of my hoppers for, <laughs> for building. <laughs> uh, oh. I mean, I'm sure that's going to be enough, but let's, let's just go ahead and... Uh, Let's make some more hoppers happen before before I forget and get kind of cranky. Okay, before I forget. Some would say I'm always kind of cranky. Hi, Rest. How are you doing? All right. Um, how do I want to do this? This is a big part of the stalling. Is I just I have no idea what how out. Ow. Ow now. Uh, I think. Yeah, because the wall's going to go up here. So I want the rail to go up there. If I'm really careful, I might be able to... Might be, if I'm really careful, I might be able to complete a thought. Did I not have some more composter somewhere? I thought I had a bunch of composter somewhere. Okay. I mean, it's not like it's impossible to come by or anything like that, so... You know. Alright, uh, let's go. There we go, there we go. Let's 
let's not run stuff through because I do have... Oh, wait, no. No, that's right. It's all going to go to the composter, so I can make mistakes and it'll be not as bad. Uh... Bother. I can't remember how the unloading system went. And I don't think I'm going to be able to turn the, turn the corner and have the uh, minecart unloading system in place because I want to read the output and then do some shenanigans to depower the powered rail. should be able to do that, which will still let me open up the chest that I'm never going to open anyway, because I'm not going to be there. And let's see if I can fit all this in here without... Uh... Let's grab... That's a lot of repeaters. Uh, no, because I need a comparator. And maybe to make it a maybe to make a staircase up there. <laughs> That's not this hot mess. Oh crikey. Alright. So if I do No, oh, maybe I will be able to fit this in here. Um Stone dust. Uh, because it should be. A powered rail goes there. A regular rail that goes there. And then it goes off to wherever it goes. If I put a torch here. a wool and a dot of redstone that leaves that powered so the cart should roll up when it gets on here the comparator should read that something is going through power that block which depowers the torch which depowers the dust and and lets things unload <laughs> Alright, we'll see. We'll see how well that works. Um, I'll probably even draw... See... My one concern is I have not found... Well, okay. I have more than one concern. But one of my concerns is I have not found a, a mushroom farm that I'm likely to use. So I don't, I don't know how much space I need to leave under here for the mushroom farm, which would tell me how big I need to make this. Although I guess if I really have to, I can, there, there's nothing under this area here. So I can always dig down a little bit and yeah, yeah, we'll do that. And let it work like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll get another powered rail and we'll start going across like here. Now, 
do do I just want to go all um, big flex and use uh, redstone blocks to power this side of the rails? <laughs> uh, that's supposed to be a regular rail. Why, why did I grab another? I don't know. Don't don't ask me questions like that. Also begs the question. All right, so how big do I want to make this melon pumpkin farm? Like one one water source will hydrate. Is it four blocks out or eight? So I think it's I think it's four blocks out from the center, and honestly, I don't I don't need a huge huge melon pumpkin farm. Like I, d I don't need I don't need one like uh, what medic built in. Uh... <laughs> All right, uh, let's try that. So. don't want to move it any closer to the hoppers because I, well, all right, if that's there, that means the dirt's going to be on that level and up there is going to be where the redstone mechanics are. You, you'll see how that works in a moment. Or will you? No, <laughs> you will. <laughs> uh, so we'll let the farm clear here. One, two, three... Four water source. Like, is a is a melon pumpkin patch this size going to be enough to to keep my people busy? I also don't want to knock. I don't want to knock too far down that side either because I don't know what what if anything I put in the wall on that side too. So there, that there's always that concern. Um, all right, I should be able to, yeah, I should be able to bring this out. I don't know why I suddenly sounded Canadian. Um, I should bring this out to about one block more. Because that's still enough space between here and it'll be the dirt next to there. So all the redstone power will, uh, will not interfere. And let's get this squared away real quick. And I can just do that right there, actually, so that way I don't go, why is the structure block here? <laughs> Let's uh let's go ahead and do that. So this way. Oh now I now I gotta get the, the power. Uh yeah. Let's uh let's do a redstone flex. Uh, I got I got the people over there that'll be able to trade massive quantities of stuff with later. Before er, before all this is done, Let, let's just drop some redstone blocks in here. No, I don't know why I didn't just do this in the beginning, but... Uh, other than I am tired and scattered. That, that's all I got for you. Grab a let me make a minecart. And let 
me just make sure that this is going to go to and fro like I think it's going to. make sure that once it picks up some stuff the unloader will have it actually unload okay I mean there are some other shenanigans I could get into with this too but uh, I, I think I'll save those for another day goes and down here I should where did the other 12 kelp go oh I didn't have a full filter up there that's why <laughs> No, 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 that doesn't mean go the other way. I do not want you uh, causing noise while I'm working on this. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to need... I should probably put some lights in the wall uh, to keep the, the, yeah. There's a complete thought in there, I promise. Um, right, use glowstone, because I can get more from the clerics next door as soon as I can get the, uh, the, um, uh, my life together. I just want to keep the light levels up down here, not because I'm worried about stuff spawning, but because I want to make sure that the the any changes in redstone lighting don't cause issues. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. No, it didn't. Um, let's get a, uh, a brick wall on the side here. So that way if I come in against something else, I'll know. There's a redstone build here. Because it would be exactly my luck to... Uh, <laughs> and let me go ahead and put another glowstone right there. No. Because uh, something's going to go there. I need the glowstone right there. space put in uh, a wall let's uh, one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll get that guy there between those two. Um, oh wow! I, I wasn't expecting that corner to be quite so quite so low. All right, so let's do this then. Let's put a temporary block there. Put that guy there. That guy, yeah, that means that it's just that one. And I'm worried that if I put a glowstone block above. I get, uh, if I put the block up there, will the cart still run? Or is it going to get stuck? No, that should be, that should be fine. Although, that one there's not. Because that's going to be what catches that one on the incline. And I don't want that one there for reasons. No, I don't. Um, I don't need the late overlay going it anymore. need to finish marking off my, uh, my area. And yes, I'm too lazy to go get my shovel. My focus is already bad enough without, <laughs> with, with, without walking over somewhere else to go, oh yeah, by the way. This is going to be for the melon pumpkin farm. Uh, what I need to do is I need to take out this center block here, put in... Did I only grab one stair? I only grabbed one stair. Can't even walk up the stairs. Let me get another sip of coffee. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, what I need to do here is put in my block of stair. Bucket of water. Remember that I forgot to grab a hoe. And melon and pumpkin seeds. Did I not put a bunch in there? No. I thought I had a bunch of melon and pumpkin seeds. Are they over here? Yeah, they're placeholders, because I'm going to put some melon and pumpkin placeholders there for for this farm. All right. Um, I've been in this area enough, and Medic has a small farm going on in his base, so I think I'm about to go raid that. It's uh, smaller than what I'm building here. I'd love to know where that zombie is. Unless it's that guy. Are you making zombie noises? Yeah, he probably is. Jerk. I gotta silence those guys too. Right, trying to make sure I don't get jacked on my way going across the neighborhood. We do need to find a way to spawn-proof the inside of this area, because, uh... It, it, if you if you're home for a while, it's it becomes a very dangerous place. <laughs> it becomes an amazingly dangerous place.
Yeah, that would put together a nice little farm there. All right, uh, so we'll grab some melon seeds. We'll grab some pumpkins. Uh, I'll be a nice guy and uh, pack up. Nope, <laughs> that was the wrong one. inventory actually I may come back and steal those so I can trade with uh, my, my village people Is it really stealing if you if you have an open invitation to, to grab stuff from there? I, I don't think it... <sighs> Doors. How do they work? Actually, I didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. We had, we had pumpkin and melon seeds right there, just outside my door. Because, of course, we did. I may even break this down and just go toss it into my storage. Just to get that out of there. I mean, I keep saying my storage is the storage of my base. It, it's community storage. Don't, don't, don't make anything more or less of you know my storage than uh, than ought to be there. Oh, I forgot that they gave you that many seeds because I can't pay attention to numbers. Oh, phone meal, phone meal. Well, I think I moved all the bone meal over. Yep, I moved it all over to storage. I gotta remember that this is actually here now. Mm. Let's see how much bone meal it takes. Yeah, thanks for that, Arcadius. I keep saying that looks wrong, but honestly, there's going to be a wall covering that up, so it doesn't matter how it looks. Alright, uh, so... I know... Nothing's going to be there. And I need to make a checkerboard for melons and pumpkins. If I go... I think that's about the best I could get out of that. And yes, I will end up with more melons than pumpkins. But remember, melons get broken down into slices. Pumpkins do not. And that is going to make all the difference. So many pumpkins. Oh, ah, just, just run, run. Oh, oh, my. That was quicker than I expected. Okay. Maybe. Seriously? <laughs> you, you, you guys did just see that, right? I, I just bone mealed it up and boop. There came a pumpkin. I kind of wish there was a way to do a uh, dispenser with a silk touch axe and... Uh, <laughs> And silk touch these guys with a uh, with a dispense. How come I never get this lucky normally? Okay, 
I need a bunch of observers. Yeah, I knew I had a bunch left over. Let me just toss those guys in there for now. Uh, hello, random box of randomness. How I miss you. Oh, wait, no, no. I was going to need that wool. Um, servers, wool, these guys. And note blocks. How many note blocks? Um... That would be that, that organization and counting thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen note blocks ish adjacent. Uh, That's right. I got air. Is that enough? I can't tell. I can't remember. I, I should have counted. No, that's only seven. left over. No, I don't. Um, ah! No, I got a bunch left over from a different project. So they're left over. They're not just, you know, left over. Oh. Oh, the scatterbrained. Absent-minded professor. How come I can't get these guys to grow like this at any other time? Like, like any, any other time. I'd be waiting ages for these guys to grow. There we go. <sighs> Are you kidding me? There we don't go. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one of these guys looking at each one of them. That's going to miss... Wait. Am I doing this right? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. pistons to be pointed the other way so let's do this let's see if we can get into f oh. all right let's get the first couple down then because i think if i work in fly mode i can manage this they added this. Let me get this out of my hand before I accidentally knock something off. Oh. <laughs> Any other time! Oi! I 
think that's all of them, right? Except for the one there, but I mean, there, there doesn't need to be one there. Look, there's something there now. All right. Uh oh, yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to get some lighting up on the on the roof here too, because uh, I want to make sure that the redstone updates don't have lighting issues. But first, but first, focus, 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 for once, maybe. Let's get. A note block on the back of each of these pistons. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and let's get the dust on each of these guys. that there just to get some light in a little bit of this <laughs> already <laughs> uh, let's get some uh, let's get some buttons to put on the back of these note blocks too So that should be it. And, and basically, the way this farm works... Uh, let me get the cart going. The way this farm works is... The observers are looking at the melon and pumpkin plants. And when the plant grows a melon or a pumpkin, depending on whichever one it is... The observer notices the change in the plant stem, firing the redstone dust that activates the note blocks and powers the piston for each of the four blocks around it. This way, we don't have to worry about which direction that melon or which direction that pumpkin went because that that's just going to it, it's just going to break the ones uh, all around it. So when that pumpkin stem right there grows a pumpkin, it doesn't matter if it goes north, mm -hmm. south, east, or west, because it's going to fire all four of those pistons anyway. And uh, I, I was not expecting this to start producing like that this quick. I mean, where is this kind of luck when I need it? All right, uh, let's get... Some buttons. Because note blocks will not sound their note if there is an object on top of them. So these buttons will uh, <laughs> silence the note blocks so they don't play notes while this is all going on. So this will run, it's just going to run a lot quieter. Alright, what I also need to do... Oh, um, I need to light up the area around a bunch of this redstone. Uh, and actually, that should be the one I need, not that one. Because when each of these redstone, what redstone bits of redstone dust flash, it causes the redstone to actually emit light. So I need the light level above each bit of redstone to be high enough that the redstone doesn't change the actual light levels. Um, that that is that is a nice way to keep uh, to keep things server friendly. 
and you don't have to worry about you know lagging out the server. Your your admin will greatly greatly appreciate that. <coughs> for now. I'll worry about adding a little more wall later. Um, Alright, that's one farm down. Well, I mean, technically two? Because that is both melon and pumpkin. <laughs> wow. Oh wait, no, because I had some of those slices. And I know uh, some of these don't have enough in the filter to, to go through, so they'll, they'll get caught up later. Wow. Okay. Sweet. Uh, let's drop off the... the um, no, that's right. I'm, I'll dump it all in the project box for now. Uh, more melons. More pumpkins. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do. I need to go... Hey, friends. Yeah. That's a no. What do you mean that's a no? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Fine. How you doing? Oh, I still didn't get rid of all of them, but okay. How you doing? This is going to start giving me some melons and pumpkins to work with for, uh, for storage anyway. And, oh. Why did I sell them all? Because I knew I was going to need some placeholders. All right, melon, melon seeds, melons, pumpkin seeds, pumpkin slices, pumpkins? I don't know. I'll figure that out later. What I am going to do is replenish some of the redstone that I... Uh, just used up on that too. There we go. See, that's how this is going to work. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. Why worry about redstone supplies? I'll just come here, gather some melons and pumpkins, go there, gather some emeralds, go there, gather some redstone. And the circle of life is complete. <laughs> now, I need. Kelp and cacti. Kelp and cacti. And how brave do I, I? I might put the kelp on this side. And let me, let me, because again, th this doesn't need to be. Th this is just private stock to to run while I'm here. This does not need to fulfill the server's needs for for these items. I will build a proper server-sized farm of a bunch of this stuff at some point. We just got to figure out where that's going to go. And honestly, if I can find a spot over there that is three blocks wide by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 by 3. I can just transplant this farm up there. And, and honestly, that's that's doing okay for, for what I need. That's a 13 by 3, right? Yeah. 
Because it was six on either side of the hopper. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hopper, and then another six. So yeah, that'd be 13. 13 by three. Do I have... Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going up there. I... Maybe I need maybe I needed to make more than half a pot of coffee. No. Well, I mean one oh wait no, that would only be two spots anyway, so uh, <laughs> How dangerous do I feel like getting? How you do I need a I need a way up to get to the backside of the redstone too. Because, I mean, that's, th that's, three <laughs> that's three wide. And there's almost certainly 13, uh, 13 blocks. Do I, ju do I just suspend a, a <laughs> do I suspend a water-based farm over the redstone? How, uh, how crazy do I feel? very tempted. I am very, very tempted. All right. Let, um, all right. I got some packed ice. I need a, you know, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need, I need a water source over here. Th this is killing me that I keep going. And I need to fill up the water bucket for... <laughs> You would think I'd have a water source over over by the farms. Uh, where do I want to put? Where do I put the? Where's my water? <laughs> oh, that's the back side of there. All right, let's do this. Let's go. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna put that there. I I don't wanna I don't wanna get into the back of the barrels. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I, I could just put it right here. I mean, seriously, who, who's going to notice that anyway? Let's, uh... That's the wrong... That's the wrong workstation. There we go. Because I can go... Like a so. Like a so. And... Like a so. Put that one there, and... I need... One more deep slate tile. But first... Put that bucket there, that bucket there. Oh, I forgot I put concrete powder there. Oh, well, I got green concrete there. It it fits in close enough. <laughs> what a boneheaded move. I, I'd say I can't believe I did that, but I can totally believe I did that. that, that. Oy. All right. I'm not going to need the rail for this. Put the pumpkin in there for now. I'll get the torches in there for now. I don't need the redstone torches for this project. Matter of fact, I don't think I need anything other than some hoppers and ice. Uh, let me drop the rest of the dirt in there for now. Let me drop the pistons and composters and the observers and oh, I'll hang on to the wool for a moment the bone meal though
All right, we'll see how fast this goes. Uh, cause I think. That's not what I wanted. You know. I, I don't know why I'm making this harder than it has to be. Don't don't answer that. Don't don't answer that. Thirteen's gonna cut across a, a fair ways. I mean, well, I mean, I guess technically, technically. Oh, I could if I put. Maybe I do need the, uh, maybe I do need more composters, composters. Because again, I am just winging this, so. gonna keep that thing running so that's not ideal but it'll work do that no oh, ice Make sure I leave myself enough space to uh, to work on the redstone if needed. So let's uh, let's do this. Let's grab some slabs because I can still get under here and work if needed. Oh. <sighs> All right, uh, let me go grab some sand and cactus and see how many I can cram into that little spot there. 
Uh, no, cactus, sand, and fence posts. I'll grab a stack because I shouldn't be putting that much in there. Sand is in the bulk storage. And fence posts. What do I have a lot of? Because I don't think I had a lot of any kind of fence posts, so I'm going to get a few stacks of dark oak. oak. Oh, I got a fair amount of oak. No, oh, I, I got plenty of spruce. Let's go with the spruce. Um, that is almost certainly more than I need and I keep trying to figure out how to balance that out and it's it's not working so I'm just going to stop while I'm behind um <laughs> where am I even working today where's my brain again what's my age again oh wait no that was something different uh, that was green day right yeah uh, let's do this. Let's start by getting the sand. So there's going to be one there, one there, one there. I should be able to do one more there. But getting another row of slabby jabbies. All right. If I get a water source here and a water source here, that should push everything down to that guy there. Which also means if I go one, I might, I might even be able to get a, uh, I was going to say a thought completed before I completely, uh, Put the put the, the the slabs down, but no, obviously that's not going to happen. I'm just going to keep misplacing slabs. That gets me eight cacti, if I can get everything to work right. Um, and I'll put that there. I need, I need some light, not because cactus technically need light, but because I need some light. <laughs> I also need to put a brick wall around this before bad things happen. Oh! I was wondering why I had the sound of lava. Uh. Huh. Well then. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "What's that bubbling noise? Is that part of the farm? Did it? Did I? Did I do that when I set up a, a part of this?" Hmm. I uh. Now I gotta wonder where that noise is coming from now too. Oh no! I should have. I should have made turn that into obsidian. Oh well. I probably have enough stone to fill this block in anyway. All right, 
let's uh, let's just leave that right there for now. Fill in a little bit of this, just to... hmm. okay. Uh, and I guess I'll just have to come back here and dig up that stuff later when I get a when I get a chance. Because I'm totally gonna remember that this is here. Yep. If you believe that, I got some oceanfront property in Arizona to sell you. I need to be uh, one block up anyway because the water needs to move around the sand Duh. I, mm. see how that goes. Let me grab a couple more, uh, a couple more, a lot more bricks and I'll at least test the water flow before I get the rest of this. Oh, wait, oh, I'm going to have to raise the roof anyway, so I'll get my bricks that way. Put some more light up here too, just so that way I can see when, if, when and if I need to work up here. I I hope to not have to, but you know, what we hope and what actually happens don't always match up. Definitely come back through here and wall some of this stuff up better before too long. But let's get let's get dangerous. No, <laughs> I don't know why that jumped in my head. I I don't know why. So if I put a water source there, oh, that's not going to get it all the way over. And one there is not going to help anymore, is it? Nope. something.
How do I get water to keep flowing in that direction without causing weird eddies and stuff? Because once I do that, this cacti might... Uh, how worried about this being lossless am I? Because then I could do... That... Oh, uh, now that gets things flowing backwards. Unless I do that, but that also means that I've got two cacti that can only drop stuff forward or back. If it goes to either side, uh, it's not going to work. Still, I've only got six cactus down in the basement anyway. Uh, alright. Let's just triple check that. So, because as, as long as I have what I have down here, or better, that should be fine. So, yeah, I've got, what, three, six. Alright, so I got six cactus and two. That will be a little weird. Uh, I don't like that there might be some entities sitting... Oh, wait a sec. No, 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 no. Problem solved, problem solved. Where's my fence gates? Oh, where are my fence gates? I thought I had a bunch of fence gates already. Like, and not in the placeholder sense. In the, in the like, I legit had some extra fence gates sense. Okay then. Um, because the fence gates will allow the items to fall through them. I guess my only real concern with that at that point is. Um, So the water will still flow forward or run them towards the center. Matter of fact, let me uh Let's try that again without me sit standing there. Is that ever gonna No. Oh lovely. I need one more fence gate. Because of course I do. All right. Oh. Oh, good thing I found that out now. So if I do that, it'll go in. If I do that, it will eventually make its way. All right. So that's going to be a problem. If it drops there, that means it's going to stick there. And as items go across, they'll either stack up. Yeah, like that. In which case, I'll, I'll have a, a pile of nope. So what can I do about that? What can I do about that? Alright, while I'm thinking about that... Um, 
right? Yeah, because that's going to go there. Okay. sometimes. I mean, I could always put some on the other side too, but that would be, uh, although if I put there, that might deflect them. Let's just see how this goes. Uh, I'll check in on it from time to time and see if I get a bunch of entities floating around or not. Because uh, if I do that, that'll be a problem. And I'll have to deal with that. Should have put, put a brick wall up top, but I'm not going to bother doing that right now either. All right. Let's uh, start filling in from there. accidentally poke through the top and fall into my own cactus farm. Seriously? So I'll have to find out if the cacti make their way through before too long. Matter of fact, uh, oh, because I don't, I don't think I put enough, uh, thought, no, maybe I did have enough. All right. Anyway, let, let me go, let me go clear out the basement cacti now. How are you doing? Oh, 
No, I thought I had more than that. Uh oh. Oh no. I might be out of stone. Uh. Not not likely. <laughs> not likely at all. <laughs> Whoever said they were out of stone. Yes, that one random that one random bit bothered me. I see part of my problem now. I'm not going to fit all that in my inventory. Alright. Let's, um... Oh, I don't have a... I don't have a spot in there for cacti. This might be where cacti, sugarcane, and uh, bamboo go. Because I already got a spot for kelp there, so yeah. Cacti, sugarcane, bamboo. Oh, uh, so yeah, no, that'll give me three for each. Yes. There we go. Alright, uh, so the cobble, the stairs, is da, 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 da. so much fence. <laughs> I did not intend to make that much fence. Alright, uh, the sand, the ore, the hopper staying in my inventory, the wool is staying in my inventory, the ice is going back to the ice box. I meant to have a lighting box, too. Alright, I'll do a redstone box, a light box, and workstations. Okay, I, I guess I figured out what uh, what all my boxes are now. Unless I put the workstations in with the redstone stuff. That might make sense. Oh, I cleared out all that space for a purpose. Um... I'll put the lighting away for now, the ice away for now, the wool away for now. I probably should have topped off the spruce while I was while I was there. All right. Um, Now I should be able to grab the rest of... I'm getting lost in my own mountain. What kind of dwarf am I getting lost in my own mountain? An embarrassment to all dwarven kind. That's what. Oh, okay. That's not that bad then. Alright, let's make sure that all the cacti filters are full. Oh. Okay. That's, uh, well, that's a problem. So I don't need to worry about the cacti 
the cacti filters not being full yet so let's get all that in there let's get the random bit of sand and scaffolding and fence post and ice and a random extra chest I dread emptying that especially since now I, I don't don't let me forget what I need to reset those uh <laughs> Those bits as all right. Ooh, and I need uh, I need some stone to fill in that hole. We cannot let that hole sit there. Are those my parrots mocking me again? I think those are my parrots mocking me again, making zombie noises. They do that. Uh, that can be a helpful thing. They they mimic the noise of various mobs within so many blocks. I forget how many, though. So it is a way to tell if there's a creeper or something like that nearby. Uh, <laughs> although ha having your parrot hiss at you is not, not a pleasant experience. That goes in there. Let me go ahead and grab the spruce so I can top off what I got in my redstone box. Because I try, I try to keep a box of raw materials for cra crafting redstone, whatnots, and therefores. Um, that's not topping it off, is it? That's as close as I'm gonna get. There, I'll put that in there for now. All right, we'll see how far this goes. Fifty-six melon. All right, so we got some melons and pumpkins coming in. That's actually not doing that bad at all. I mean, that's just been a few minutes. All right, let's uh, let's let's go finish reserving space in uh. In storage before I forget that I needed to finish putting space in storage for the melons, pumpkins, and whatnot. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I, I don't think technically they all fall under fruit, but guess what? They're all gonna fall under fruit. All right, so we got pumpkins, all right? I need. Melons. Um. I am more likely to drop full melons than melon slices in here. So let's go ahead and there we go. Perfect. I was going to set up a box for travel for ender pearls and rockets. All right, so that re that's definitely going to have to get moved. Yeah, all right. It's going to take a while to settle in. We, we all kind of knew that, right? All right. Cacti are incredibly slow, so I'll come back and check on those guys later. Uh, I'll deal with the melons and pumpkins later. Now I just need kelp. And realized that I made one tiny mistake. How am I going to route the kelp all the way over to the beginning there? Because the 
kelp we need to get in there. And I only left myself a spot here. If I had made the cacti box a block or two higher, it would have been okay. I mean, I could always tear all that down and rebuild it a couple of blocks higher, but... You want to talk about not, not fun. Oh. Yeah, so I just need to find a home for the kelp farm and how I'm going to tie it all in there. I mean, I could run a hopper line back, but I don't, I really don't want to run that many hoppers. That, that's, that, that's just a recipe for lag and all sorts of bad stuff. Uh, well, unless I just get the hopper line back here or here, so it's past that redstone bit, and then I could do a, a, uh, water stream. Somebody's holding the coffee pot. I'm graciously accepting the coffee. If only it came in an IV bag. Uh, okay. That's almost all the farms, though. That, that's, um... I, I'm trying to remember if... what How many cacti were left. I'll, I'll do that right there. So I know once I get... Oh! Uh, okay, never mind. Cactus is coming in. One just dropped in as we were looking for it. So, alright. Slow, but that's fine. I, I honestly expect cacti to be one of those things that I end up with a full storage of and the rest is just going to go into a bone meal because the, the only thing you really need cactus for is... Well, two things you need cactus for are as an item destruction method where you can't get other types for one reason or another and green dye. That's, that's it. These guys are emeralds. These guys are fuel. Um... Oh, yeah, and those guys are food, too. I mean, if I could just get a chicken farm somewhere. Ooh. Maybe that's what I do with this wall here. I'll hollow that out, and I'll get some uh, animal farms. Like, I'll get a chicken farm, a pig farm, a cow farm. Just because it feels weird to have something built into that wall and not have something built into that wall. Unless I want to get uh, the the bee powered villager farms, because that that's th this was a test to see if this was worth building large scale, and half is, uh, you know, maybe kind of no, no, not really. Uh, All right, where was I? Kelp farm. Kelp farm. Um, I was going to need those placeholder bits, one not I? All right, all right. Focus, focus. Or not. Do I need... All right, I don't need the backpack anymore for now. So let me put that away before I keep looking in it for things that I just don't need. Um, I might need the ice box, so I'll keep that. I might need that, so I'll keep that. Uh, so I need a kelp farm that's going to feed into that. All right, let's grab a water bucket, some hoppers. Ice and 
some glass. Nah, I don't need glass. Who am I kidding? Bricks will be fine. Again, nobody's gonna see this. What I want to do is go through this labyrinthine process. I should definitely fill it, finish filling in the floor with brick too. That's uh, yeah, that's on the agenda. Okay, cacti is going up, which is good. Melons and pumpkins are steadily rolling in, which is also very good. Uh, I keep getting lost, which is not good. So, let's do this. Composters. That's what I forgot. Uh, did I use them all? I've only got the one left right there. No, I didn't use them all. Did I put them in the queue to store? I think I, I think when I was emptying my pockets, I put them in the uh, input bit. Maybe I will call it an... Yeah, there we go. There they are. Maybe I will call it a night. Because <laughs> if I keep doing this kind of stuff... <laughs> Let's pull... Oop. Yeah, because that's going to go that way. That's going to go that way. And one more. Oh, there's a job of nudging me in the chair. Nudging my chair. Alright. Um, powering that shouldn't matter. That's one way to get up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right. How are you doing? And then seven, eight. And that means that I've got, I can drop stuff in here. There we go. That'll work. All right. It should be spawn proof, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and use bottom slabs anyway. somewhere too. Actually, let's do this. Let's pull that for the moment. Let's get back down here. Grab our a few glowstone. I need to go trade with my uh, village people for some more. Uh, before I do that, let's Get some slabs. I don't know why I'm trying to make all this under here pretty, but... I can't help it. I probably had a bunch of stairs already in storage. Now that I think about it. Oh. 
Ooh. And then I can put the glowstone there. And that takes care of lighting and whatnot. decoration. I, I still got to figure out what variation of the kelp farm I'm going to do. Uh, I could do like I did in Skyblock. And right, the wall's going to go there. So I could run stuff towards this side here. And then put the redstone that way. Um... Again, kelp is not one of those ones that I need, like, a ton, ton of. So it doesn't have to be a big farm. Yeah, I might just do, I might just do, like, the one that I did on Skyblock. And run... Run things back just a smidge. of villager noises. Uh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Actually, I could just go all the way back that way too, because I know I can say I know I am between the two floors. That's the top of the potion brewer down there, and I've got wool on the bottom of the next potion brewer up. And that little kelp farm ran quite nicely in Skyblock. I just can't remember how far out to the sides it all went. I did put wool, wool on the bottom, didn't I? Now I'm concerned. So I want to say it was a... Where's the observers? So many droppers. I did not intend to have that many droppers. Because uh, again, I was trying to do that storage system by Blocky Bryson. That didn't didn't quite work out. Oh, I need a spot for rail in the, uh, in the, in the storage too. I might have to put that with, uh, with the redstone. Or with the travel again, not a, not a big one, just but just uh, just enough. Uh, no, because I'm probably gonna want to keep that on me. Where oh, where are my observers? Okay, because if I remember right, the way the way this remember right, it was only last season. Uh, <sighs> I can I'll have 
have one guy looking that way, one guy looking that way. And I put the kelp on that guy, the piston on that guy, and that is all I need. So that means that I could, it's only going to go, what, two blocks out, one, ow, oh, nope. There's not enough room to do another one on that side, so, could loop it back that way. Move it just one more block. So we'll have one, two, and a water stream coming this way and around that corner. Yeah, because what I can do is... Move... Put a slabber there. And move the water source to there. Because it doesn't matter that the water's flowing over the, uh... Wait, what just happened? Oh! Ah! Where's the first source of burn? There we go. Stupid infinite water sort of Minecraft water. I swear. Every time I work with water, I swear. up there. Alright, so that means I can... There's nothing on that side that I gotta worry about redstone firing on. Um, I'm actually gonna want that to be ice anyway. And then we'll come back this way. Three, four, five, six. So that'll give me give me twelve uh six modules and I actually didn't want to do that. Um, Cause I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six on that side. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Should I go ahead and get a seven? Let's try to get a seven. space. Nah, I just need to bring this one more up. Uh, hmm. 
how do I Tetris this all to fit in? Actually, let's, let's try that. Let's move everything. Oh, and I'm going to have to tear down a little bit of that wall too. So while I contemplate life decisions, let's go ahead and pull this back a little bit. Ooh, coal. No, I will never not be excited by coal. that back one more because I'm going to need room for the observer and then this is where the brick is going to go to remind me that there is a farm <laughs> at Hereby Farms. I mean thematically I should use a sea lantern for lighting but we don't have that farm set up yet. Is this going to have to go up higher than one or higher than two? Because uh, what I'm going to need, I'm going to need water coming out this way. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. That's going to be a little close. Although I can always move this back, back one more again, too. Actually, let's go ahead and do that. Let's, um... Because it's going to turn that corner there. which means I'm going to need at least one block up for the water. For the water stream, I'm going to need one block higher for the glass pane. Yeah, the glass pane down the middle. Oh, that's right. I was going to go get glass panes. Uh... some clear glass in here, so we'll just boop. No, I can't remember how many glass panes I need. That is almost certainly too many, but it's not like I won't have other projects that need them later either. going to be the divider.
Bless you. Let's get these guys cleared out. Because they're not going to be there. Let's not lose any observers. Because they're not cheap. Yeah. Just in case. Let's go ahead and get a glowstone there, just uh, just to keep things lit. That goes all the way around like it should. This is wider than I remember it being, isn't it? Yeah, something is very much not right here. Maybe I'll have to finish the uh, the kelp farm another day because I I'm I'm missing something I am forgetting something something is very much not right. At least I got lighting up here so that I don't have to worry about stuff unexpectedly dropping in. That's actually... Hmm. Okay. Uh, the cacti's going better than I thought it would. Uh, I won't... I know how these two farms are going to go. They're not going to take up a lot of space over here, so that can, that can wait until later. Uh, the two mushroom farms, that's going to be one of the challenges, because I, I need to find one, I need to find one that'll work. I need to put in a brick floor, um, I got, so that way I don't go 
tearing up under here and accidentally cut something up that I really shouldn't have. Um, two, technically three farms done. That's, that's still not bad. I just realized that that guy... <laughs> that... That piston right there has a chance of dropping the melon off uh, off the dirt. But then again, that's just going to drop it onto that incline that the cart's going to go up anyway. So that shouldn't be a problem. Especially once I get this wall in... Because that that'll contain that'll contain where it'll where it could drop. Okay, yeah, yeah, that'll be all right. Yeah, that'll be all right. Yeah, we'll call it progress. Um, I just wish I could remember how that kelp farm went. I feel like I am forgetting something very, very basic and fundamental. And it really bothers me that I can't quite put my finger on what or why. As he goes to stubbornly continue for one more run and figure it out. Because I know... I know I had the water stream pushing the kelp that got knocked off. And maybe, maybe it was uh, out here. Was it? Yes, maybe, maybe that was it. Let's uh, pull this up for a minute. trying to rescue a uh, stone brick. Uh, don't, don't ask questions I, I couldn't possibly give you the answer to. that's going to go down that way. And... Nope, one block too low. Um...
I just realized that I keep knocking out torches all over the place, so let me just go ahead and uh, get the get the get the lighting that uh, that I really need to have. I should keep this uh, this area pretty well done. How are you doing? At least until I figure out what I'm going to do about that, right? Hi. Oh yeah. How are you doing? Hello. Oh yeah. Hello. Even by the old lighting standards, that should be fine. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? Hello. How are you doing? Hello. Oh. 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 Don't. <laughs> There I am, futzing around when there there's observers that could be lost. Yikes. Alright. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Because those guys are not attached to the glass, how right? Nope. So that means water on here will go over to the glass, and that's uh and that's it. So that also means I can get this side cleared. Get the kelp done before I finish. How are you doing? Oh. How are you doing? Hi. 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 Hello. How are you no, there's no good reason to make it pretty. Just don't tell Rias that I said that. stone block as my target for the first one. Oh no, if I do that one there, then I won't be able to uh, leave that glowstone in place because I need to fire one over that way. too good to not to not leave there
Where's my toolbox? There we go. Not a problem that can't be solved by without... <laughs> you can solve just about any problem by whacking it with a wrench. Right? Isn't that how that goes? Good lucky number. How are you doing? Uh. Uh, I'm going to need a couple of water buckets. That's still going to make its way around that way. Oh! Oh, that guy got pushed uh, a lot further than I expected. How did he end up out all the way out there? Yikes. That's not quite what I meant to do with that, but that's okay. Doesn't quite look right, but that might just be that might just be me. Oh, did I did I waterlog? Yeah, yeah, I did. Oh God. They're going to do that anyway. All right. Uh, we'll uh, we'll see if that ends up being a problem because none of the other ones are doing that. Weird. Oh no, I did need more glass panes anyway. All right. All right um. making some more observers soon too.
just triple checking. Some of that's getting into the water stream, and that should end up in the hopper above the composter, so it won't be that bad. Well, that too is disconcerting. That should also have been a little different. All right, one problem at a time. All right, isn't that how that works? We should totally make a Minecraft themed version of Gloom. Steve got punched by pistons. <laughs> I don't know why that tickled me so. It did. one higher yeah because I'm because uh, I need to put a water source there as well Oh! Nope. I did something very wrong. That's... Nope. Maybe these were supposed to be a block further away. But that, that very much is not how that's supposed to go down at all. Nope. Nobody, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Alright, I need to, I definitely need to stop and think about the problems I've created for myself. As, yeah, because when one of those gets broken off, it's going to just float up to the top here. It's not going to get pushed over there. Well, no, even if I push it towards the center like I want to, it because that's all flooded the way it is. <sighs> Bother. Thank you for joining along. Uh, sorry, it was a little draggy today. Just uh, I don't know, one of those weird days. So I'll I'll, I'll get the 
I'll get that squared away in a little bit. Uh, probably over the weekend. Um, I'm pretty sure I had to move those one block further away, but I, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go look at uh, look at how I did that in another. I think. Um. Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, hang on. Let, let's go. All right. Let's do this. Let's disconnect from the server. No, no, no I, I, I get what you're saying, but that's not, that's not the, that's not the issue. Uh, let's go back to. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I get what you're saying, but uh, that's not. The, the the pro it's not gonna it's not gonna push it the way it needs to is what I'm getting at. Let, let's return. <laughs> let's dial up the Wayback Machine and go to season one. No, uh, Wayne's World. Kids ask your parents. There we go. All right, let's, uh... This is a local world and it should not be running that slow. Yikes. It makes me wonder if uh, some of our problems aren't just due to 1.18.1. Because if a local world is running like that, see, th this was the basic idea of what I did the last time. The only thing that was different was I, I had somehow managed to, I'd somehow managed to have this not be a hopper train. Which I definitely don't want to do the go around. So I got the observer watching the observer watching the observer. Um... And oh. Huh? Oh, that's right. Okay. That saved me some observers too. Because that oh yeah. Okay, okay, no. Nope. No, I, I managed to get it a little bit tighter in the in the following season, saving me. Uh, I I could actually I could actually do that though. Instead of that middle observer, I could no no not the way I got it here. Okay, never mind. Crikey, my brain. Um, What I needed is to not make the uh, not make the glass a a uh, in between two water sources, so the glass didn't end up flooding. That was the big that that's the big thing that sunk this version. Uh, ooh, I don't know that I have a good way to fire up the Skyblock world now that I think about it. Because uh, we're we're <laughs> the the server is running on the server that was running that, uh, and it's not like you can run the single player Skyblock world in a vanilla single player either. Uh, especially since all that a lot of the things were running on bucket. Um, hmm. Do do it? Do I rent a server for a day and uh, <laughs> rent another one for a day to? to fire up skyblock one more time or uh, no I just need to go back to my videos where I where I last worked on it because I know I know I show I know I showed how that worked but the the basic idea was to have a bunch on one side a bunch on the other and push it into a water stream in the middle without flooding without flooding the uh, the glass panes and it might have been that I had glass panes on one side glass panes on the other. And the ice road down the middle? 
or two rows of glass panes in a two two wide lane. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. So uh, let, let's get back to the credits. Uh, thank you very much for joining along. Hope you had fun. I will definitely get all this mess worked out uh, sooner or later, and I'll show off what the actual fix was when I get there. All right, let's... Uh, is anybody available for a raid? I know Beast Lord was having some trouble with his internet connection, and that's part of why we haven't seen him as much. No Beast Lord J currently on, so let's go give Grimly a raid. Uh, Grimly and Beast Lord are both wonderful people, and, and I love raiding the ball. So Grimly's playing Lost Ark. Let's go say hello, and uh, I will see you next time. Stick around for the raid.